Did you know the worldwide 3D printed footwear industry is expected to increase at a CAGR compound annual growth rate of 19.72% between 2022 and 2027? The market size is expected to grow by USD 1972.58 million. So in this video, we'll be exploring five industry leaders who are revolutionizing the way shoes are designed and manufactured, all thanks to the power of 3D printing technology. We'll show you how your favorite footwear brands are pushing the limits of footwear innovation with their unique and personalized 3D printing procedures. Don't miss out on this exciting journey into the future of footwear. Hit the subscribe button and join us on this fascinating exploration of the 3D printed shoe revolution. 3D printing technology has revolutionized many industries and the footwear industry is no exception. Many companies that make shoes are using this technology to make cutting edge products because it lets them print complex designs quickly and easily. The market for 3D printed footwear is experiencing a rise in demand, particularly among 15% of the young people in the United States who prefer these products for their improved comfort and lifestyle benefits. Big companies like Adidas and Nike are investing significant resources in the research and development of 3D printed footwear. AM hardware units are the major technology utilized in the creation of these shoes and it is estimated that by 2025, this technology would earn up to USD $5.5 million in income. Yes, you got that correctly. So here are the five footwear industry leaders who are using 3D printing. First up, we have Adidas. Adidas is leading the way in 3D printing technology for mass-producing footwear. While it may have been the last major company to publicly embrace 3D printing, Adidas has certainly made the most significant progress in implementing this technology for manufacturing shoes on a large scale. In fact, the company has already produced over 100,000 pairs of shoes with plastic midsoles made through a new 3D printing process that uses Carbon's cutting-edge digital light synthesis technology. And get this, Adidas is now gearing up to produce millions of pairs of 3D printed sneakers in the coming years. Can you believe it? But now you might be wondering how it all works. Well, the process involves a special type of liquid resin that is both durable and flexible, made up of a combination of thermoset polyurethane and a photopolymerization agent. And with access to enough printers from Carbon, Adidas is ready to take on the challenge of creating 1 million pairs of 3D printed sneakers. Adidas' first ever attempt at 3D printing the Futurecraft 4D project has already taken the world by storm. Boasting 3D printed, creativity designed midsoles, these cutting edge sneakers initially had a hefty price tag of over $300, yet they sold out in no time flat. But here is some good news. The price of these futuristic shoes has been dropping rapidly, and it's all thanks to scale economics coming into play. As materials and hardware become more accessible, the price tag on these impressive kicks has been decreasing, proving that the demand for 3D printed footwear is higher than ever before. And that's not all. Adidas has kept coming up with new ideas and making great shoes. The Alpha Edge and Y3 Runner are just two examples. Next, we have Nike. Nike was one of the first companies to use 3D printing. They used it to make quick changes to functional parts when making high-performance products. Their commitment to innovation has led to the creation of some of the most cutting-edge footwear designs on the market today. One of Nike's highest-profile projects has been the Nike Vapor Laser Talon, a football cleat that was specifically designed to provide optimal traction on football turf while helping athletes maintain their drive stance longer. Although this project didn't make it into full production, it paved the way for the development of the Nike Vapor High Agility Cleat within the company's shuttle program. Nike was able to test, iterate, and build shapes that would have been unattainable with traditional production processes because of the capabilities of 3D printing. As a result, the organization was able to push the boundaries of innovation faster and further than ever before. Nike's use of a selective laser sintering SLS process along with a proprietary material selection has been a key factor in the success of their 3D printing initiatives and the company is not resting on its laurels either as it has reportedly been working with Prodways to develop a line of 3D printed midsoles using the company's SLS technology and TPU materials. So, Nike has been pretty adventurous with 3D printing, not just sticking to quick iterations of functional parts, but now 
they are exploring 3D printing for final part production. Specifically, they are using it for the labor-intensive production of uppers. This is where the Nike Fly Print comes in. It's the first 3D printed textile upper in performance footwear, and it's produced using solid deposit modeling SDM. This fancy process basically involves melting a TPU filament and laying it down layer by layer. And guess what? The increased dynamism made it possible by adding an interconnection beyond a warp and a weft is one major advantage of 3D textiles over conventional 2D fabrics. Cool, right? Number three is New Balance. Let me tell you about New Balance, a footwear company based in Boston that has been at the forefront of experimenting with 3D printing for various applications. Back in 2016, they teamed up with 3D Systems to launch the Xanti Generate shoe, which featured a 3D printed midsole. This was a pretty big deal because it was the first commercially available running sneaker that had been 3D printed produced using a process called Selective Laser Sintering, or SLS, and a material called Duraform TPU Elastomer. However, they only made 44 pairs available for purchase, and they were priced at a whopping $400. Fast forward to today, and New Balance is still pushing the boundaries of 3D printing in footwear. They recently added automated finishing technologies from Russell Finex to their additive manufacturing lab, which suggests that they are moving toward using 3D printing to automate the process of making midsoles. New Balance has also been experimenting with 3D printing for a variety of applications. For instance, it is teamed up with EOS to use design-driven manufacturing to 3D print custom spike plates for their elite athletes. It has also been working with Form Labs on a different project. This one is about mass customizing high performance shoes using the company's affordable SLA systems and a newly developed material. In at number four, we have Under Armour. Under Armour, a company that prides itself on being at the forefront of innovation, is also an early adopter of additive manufacturing for producing final parts. Their UA Architect line of shoes featuring a midsole that is 3D printed, which is quite impressive. The first product in the Architect line was released back in 2016, and it was designed using Autodesk software and printed using EOS SLS technology. Under Armour then introduced the UA Futurist in 2017, which also boasts a 3D printed midsole. This time, they used a TPU material developed by Lehman and Voss and Company for the midsole, which showcases the company's willingness to explore new and innovative materials. The sportswear company's most expensive shoe series to date, the UA Architect and the UA Futurist, feature a 3D printed midsole and are flying off the shelves despite their hefty $300 price tag. Even better, production has quadrupled with each new release, with the original Architect starting at just 96 pairs and the newest Futurist being produced in a batch of over 2,000 pairs. It's clear that Under Armour's investment in additive manufacturing is paying off big time. And here is the last one, Reebok. Reebok made waves in the shoe industry when it unveiled its Liquid Float Ride Run shoe in 2018. This high-performance shoe is made using the same innovative technology that Reebok first introduced in its liquid factory. The process, which involves a 3D drawing process, creates a shoe that's perfect for distance running, cardio workouts, and all-day comfort. The Reebok Liquid Factory is in Rhode Island. It has a unique process for making shoe uppers that uses robotic arms and pneumatic extrusions to make the shoe's uppers directly. This process eliminates the need for traditional molds and allows Reebok to create highly customized shoes with a high level of precision. Reebok's Liquid Float Ride Run Shoe, priced at $180, combines their well-known Float Ride Run Shoe with their 3D printing Liquid Factory technology. The shoe features both liquid components and flex weave materials and is 20% lighter than the original model. One interesting update is that the laces are now 3D printed directly onto the shoe upper, creating a seamless and unique look. So there you have it, five major footwear companies that are embracing 3D printing technology to innovate and create their products. As this technology continues to evolve, we can only imagine what exciting developments will come next. Now, we'd love to hear from you. Which company's use of 3D printing and footwear do you find the most impressive? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting content on the latest 3D printing innovations. Thanks for watching.